hello guys hello everywhere don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, in this video I will talk about the electronic diversity visor program subscription so for them who want to enter and uh, then submit into the the DV program they can follow what I am doing here using the the mobile phone format it's easy just follow the steps and you will do it closely you know we are in October so uh, don't miss this chance you can be lucky you will be selected so you can go to America to United States this will be one of the the dreams I guess after which will be realized so let's start first of all we are accessing to Google and in a top you can just tape here in this case of searching DV lottery or we'll just put DV like this for example sorry a little bit D V like this DV and after you will see this list can select the first one and after that go exactly to the first tab like this and then you will see this screen this page which uh, give you this page which gives you the the result for example the entry extraction the DV uh, 2023 instructions uh, some uh, examples of how to put and how to uh, insert your picture and load upload it into the, the website the entry form so what we are looking for right now is to, to be submitted so you will just need to search among all these buttons and after that you will find this green one all these are blue squares you can just select the green one and after taping it and then wait a little bit just because my connection today is a bit low so we have to wait and after you must always start with an uh, an authentication code so just five uh, letters and numbers sometimes mixed you can put them inside we have here D D H 9 and D again or if uh, for example if it is hard for you to, to, to read the letters you can put your hand on this button here the second one to uh, the first one first of all in the right side here to change can wait a little bit some seconds and after that you can change it and if it's hard for you to see them exactly you can just put your hand down a little bit and you will listen R A W C eight R A W C A let's go to submit 
So, then after the authentication code, you will start to fill the information about your name. Uh, the part one, for example, is the entrant information. Your last name, your first name, your middle name. If you are, uh, if you have a middle name, and after that your gender, male or female, and after that your birth date, and then later city and your address and everything, country where you were born, country of eligibility, passport, and then all the things concerning your uh, personality. So let's start. Here you will put your name, your last name, your last name, and then uh, the first name. So, uh, as we know, family name is clear for everyone. So, in the first case here, you will put your family name. For example, I will put something. Seen. In the second case, you will put your first name. Seen doodle. And if you don't have a first name, you can select this case. If not, you go back again and then write it like this. Later, a middle name. If you have, if you have got a middle name, you can put it in the third case. If not, you don't. You you just can. Put this blue one to make it clear and then just leave it as uh, as you see right now with your last name first and after your first name second we go to gender male or female birth date we start because we know in America Always they start with the month, later the date, and then the year. Okay. The month is April. We put, for example, 04. If uh, you were born, for example, in January, you put 01. With the date, the date is clear also. 9. And after that, the year. The year means, like, for example, 1991. It's clear. City where you were born. You must put the right things that you have in your identity card. If you, for example, if you are living in a different city, don't forget always your original city. Because later they will check your paper, even you are selected, they will kick you out if you put something wrong. So be careful and take your time to fill your information. Enter birthday, uh, sorry, enter birth city only. Don't enter district, country, province, and city. Just your birth city, okay? For example, I can't put Rabat because I'm from Morocco. If you don't know it, you can put in the case down here to know that you don't know exactly your birth city. We put again Rabat. Country where you were born the country is clear is clear for example me Morocco can put France can put Spain can put don't lie you must always be sure before putting the information later the country of eligibility for the DV program 
Your count of eligibility will normally be the same as your count of birth. So, put your count of birth here exactly. Your count of eligibility is not related to where you live. You must always put the same country as you put here where you were born. But if you were born in a country that is not eligible for the DV program, please go to explanation of country eligibility to see if there is another option available in your case. For example, if you are if you were born in a place where or that is not eligible for the DV program, you must select the blue uh, right in here and then actually they will give you choices they will give you options in order to know and uh, to look for uh, the the solution if they can uh, have a solution for you are you claiming eligibility based on the count where you were born yes just you can uh, put yes if not, you must enter the country from which you are claiming. Means the place where you are claiming. The place that they will have once you are selected. They will show, they will see if it's related to what you put in the birth city. And after that, the passport, passport information. Last name is as the, as what we put in the first Step, machine, dodo. As we said before, if you don't have first name, you can do like this. If you have it, you can do it like this by writing your last name. For for us, we don't have a middle name, so we can do like this. If you have a middle name, you can put it. No problem. Passport number. It's same as your passport number that you have because we know that we must have a passport to apply for DV program. If you don't have a passport, don't make any effort to fill these blanks. Okay, you must have a passport so that you can be eligible. You can be uh, also selected even you you don't have a passport. But once they are checking your papers, if they don't find that you have a passport, they will kick you out directly. The passport before wasn't uh, the passport before uh, wasn't one of the targets. But right now, they are always insisting to have a passport so that you can get. Uh, the uh, DV a uh, green card a later can put here the passport number for example GS like this passport expiration date for the passport always we have an expiration date so that they know that it's still available so I'll put like this the month always as I said is the first later the date and then the year twenty twenty five country authority of issuance Morocco again always keep having the same country if you you were born in your in, 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 in the country and you are still in the country you must always have the same information about the country and just fill in blanks passport exemption I am not required to submit passport information because I am the, this uh, case here we talk about if you don't have, uh, for example, a passport, you can explain that by uh, choosing one of the options that they give you here. 
Stay list means that you will have a nationality, a national of com communist control country, and unable to obtain a passport. So if you don't, if you have a passport, you fill these details here. If you don't have it, go to this B option and after uh, choose one of them. If you have it, fill these and don't do anything in the B uh, option. Okay. Later we go to the entrant photograph. For the entrant photograph, we must always uh, expect uh, respect the measurement that we have concerning the photograph, uh, the entrant photograph in this TV program, because we have already the measurement is six hundred type six hundred or a pixel or uh, 1200 uh, types or 1200 as you see here in the video and after you can choose the new photo by choosing this and after you get the photo from your uh, device and then upload it we go to the mailing address in care of optional, wherever you find optional means leave it, don't touch it. It's optional, it's not something necessary. Later we go to the address, which is one of the most important things. Because after they will send you a letter, when you are selected, they will send you a letter to the address that you put here. Address line 1, uh, make sure to put a right address, okay? Take your time, and after we go to the address line to optional. Also, try to find an optional address. In case, for example, they uh, encounter problems with sending the letter to the first address, or for example, the first address is closed or something like that, they can get back the letter, and after they will send it back to your second address for that i advise you to also fill the case of the second address so that you can have two uh, active ag addresses and later you can get the letter from one of them city or town you can put the city or a town where uh, you came from where you live and after the district country, province, state, the postal code, postal code, for example, if you don't know, the postal code of the, your city, the city that, that you put here, you can go to Google and after try to write, for example, uh, Rabat post postal code or uh, Agadir postal code, Paris postal code, and after you can copy it and put it here. District, country, province, state, sorry. Country, always you must choose the country that you put in the first options. The same, don't change anything. Morocco again. Country where you live today. Country where you live today means the place where you live right now, where you are living right now. Again, uh, for me, for example, I'm still living in Morocco. So for that, I will keep always entering the Morocco address. Phone number is one of the important things that you can have during filling these cases, these options. It's one of the important things so that they can call you once you are select it okay and then email address also it's an important thing to send you the letter to uh, inform you that you are selected and after that they can need you and they can contact you using the email address and always try to be sure about the address and you have to use an active phone number here it is optional but always
keep filling this case of the phone number and keep filling the case of the email address this email address will be used to provide you with additional information if you are selected as I said what is highest level of education as we know TV program uh, always it is necessary to have a high school degree primary school only is not uh, needed high school but no degree I am I'm sure also that's it's not uh, necessary for example to have something like this it's not enough so the high school degree is the first step where you can start as the degrees that you can uh, apply for here so we choose the third one and after you can have the others for example the vocational school some university courses but always you must be uh, a person who got already his school with his high school degree so that you can be uh, selected after that or even you are selected during the lottery after when they, they are checking your papers they will kick you out again without a high school degree and later the 14th step what's your current marital marital stage I'm married married and my spouse is not a US citizen married and my spouse so here if you are unmarried if you're still single you can just put the first one if you are married and your spouse is not a, a US citizen or US lawful permanent resident can choose the second one if you are married and your spouse is a US citizen or US lawful permanent resident the third one divorce it the fourth the five the fifth widowed and then legally separated if you got already a spouse and after right now you are separated with her and if you uh, selected that you are married you need to enter again the spouse information you must so that you can have her with you and after when you will be selected but for me i'm married i choose the first one and i choose the 15 one uh the 15 step here you have to choose if you got children with your uh, wife if you said here that you are married you need to select how many boys or how many children have you got with her and put the number here for example seven like this if you have four you have ten or just one for me zero so I leave it and after you can tap this case the button the left one continue so that it can continue to the, the next step which will uh, be a verification step so you will have all these information that you filled together and you will check and verify if all of them are are clear if you go for example a mistake you can after correct it this this is the most important thing is the first page and after in the second page you can verify and in the last page you can use to print 
the the paper the last paper the last registration paper and also keep it by screening it with your mobile phone or by your uh, by your laptop or for example your PC and you will wait until the results are available so you can check using your informations that's what we have thank you very much and uh, have a good day thank you and don't forget always to subscribe and share this video and i will thank you and i will say right now goodbye